Hello. In this video, I'm going to be training an Argos Translate model with custom data. As you can see here, I'm in the Argos Train repo, which are the training scripts for Argos Translate. So looking at the readme here, we can see Argos Train trains an OpenNMT, PyTorch Transformer model, and a sentence piece tokenizer, and packages them with stanza data as an Argos Translate package. So OpenNMT is an open source project for machine translation. Um, it's effectively just a wrapper around PyTorch, and this is what we're going to use to train the neural net that we're going to use for translation. And as you can see, it's a transformer architecture neural network. Um, the other thing Argos Train will handle for you is it will download, compile, and install sentence piece. And sentence piece is the tokenizer, which means it takes your input text and it splits it into tokens, which are essentially either words or individual characters or groups of similar characters. Um, and then Argos Train will also handle downloading a stanza package for you. Um, stanza is another piece of software that does all sorts of sentence analysis, but Argos Translate uses it to split text into sentences so that each of those sentences can be translated independently. Um, and then the Argos Translate package itself is just a zip archive with this custom extension name .argos model. Um, and then once you have this .argos model, you can easily install it to use with Argos Translate or Libre Translate. Um, and Argos Train essentially just automates this whole process. So you could build an Argos model package manually, um, but it would kind of take some doing. And this will just handle a lot of the steps without even having to know they're happening. Um, so you'll never have to deal with sentence piece directly or stanza directly. Um, so if we look at this training example here, um, actually backing up, um, so you can see here pre-trained Argos Translate packages are available for download. You can see this is the package index I have here, uh, which looks a little broken right now. Oh, there it is. Um, so you can see from language to language, and then you can download them here. Um, and then there's also some metadata that is included in the package, like the version and these um, codes to signify the languages. Um, and then if you train one, uh, please contribute it, or if you want to. Um, and then I can add it to the Argos Translate package index. What you see here is another Git repo, um, and it's essentially just a JSON file with links and metadata for all of these packages. Um, so, okay, looking at the training example here, um, I have a custom Docker container that's available on Docker Hub, Argos Open Tech slash Argos Train. Um, and this will essentially include some scripts to initialize things um, so that you can have a consistent environment. Um, I always use Vast AI. So that's what these scripts will be best suited for, but you can probably get these to run on any NVIDIA GPU. Um, so once you're in your Docker container, which we're not going to do this step yet, you can just become the Argos OpenTech user. You can run this Argos Train init script, which we can look at um, here. Um, where is it? Here. Um, so you can see this is just going to install a bunch of Debian packages. It's going to set up the Python environment, and install this repo. Um, it's going to install OpenNMTPY, which is what we use to train the neural network. Um, it's going to download the code for sentence piece and then run the C++ compiler to compile it, as you can see here. Um, and then it just kind of sets up the environment so that all of this works out of the box. And then once you've run this init script, you can just run Argos train. And then there's this interactive interface um, where you enter which language code do you want to do, the name of the language, and the version. And Argos train will automatically download the data automatically run the whole training process, and it will save the completed package 
um, to this path and it'll print out the path it's at. So once it's printed this, you can just download this package and you're good to go. Um, so before we do this though, uh, we want to add custom data. Um, so you can see in this pack, this uh, this section where we're talking about the data, um, it says data from data index data index.json is used for training. Argos Translate primarily uses data from the Opus project. So we can look at this data index.json, which you can see is an, um, a file in this Argos train repo. And this is similar to the package index. It's just a JSON file with metadata. So you have the from language, the to language, the name of the data set, a reference for the data set, and a link to download the data set. Um, so you can see I already have a lot of data here. So if you were to train, um, so ES is Spanish, EN is English. So if you were to train a Spanish model, you wouldn't have to collect any data. You could just use this existing index data and say you want to train an English to Spanish model and it'll download this data set. It'll prepare it for you and it'll train the model. Um, Argos train is also smart enough to be able to flip the uh, data. So the way this data is formatted is, is essentially just parallel sentences. We have one sentence in English and one sentence in Spanish. Um, so if you want to train an English to Spanish model, Argos train will download this data set and use the English data as the source and the Spanish language as the target. If you want to train a Spanish to English model, it'll also download this data set and then just flip it. So it'll use the Spanish data as the source and the English data as the target. Um, and then Argos Translate primarily uses data from the Opus project. This is a great project. Um, I think it's from a, the University of Helsinki. Um, but essentially they've indexed a bunch of open source translation data sets and they make it easy to search them and download. Um, so essentially the Argos Translate data index is me just downloading data from Opus and then converting it to my format so that I can easily access it programmatically. Um, okay, so to train a model with custom data, add your data to data index to data index.json after running Argos train init with a link to download your custom data package. Um, data packages are zip directories with an Argos data extension, and I have an example here that contains a source and target file with parallel data in corresponding lines and a metadata.json file. So we can look at this example here. Um, and this is a um, this is a link to an existing data package. Um, I have this as an example just because it's a small one. So you can see it's only one megabyte. Um, and then we can look at this package here. So it's data slash Wikimedia on SK. Um, and this is just a zip archive, so you can extract it. And we have this directory here with the same name. And then you can see inside we have this source and target file. That's the actual data. So if you do head source and then head target. Um, so this is the English data. And then I think is this Slovakian or I don't know um, what SK is, but this is the parallel data. So this sentence matches this sentence, this word matches this word, um, and so forth. So essentially what I'm just planning to do is I'm going to modify this data package to create my custom data package and then add it to the uh, data index and then train my model. So the data I'm planning to add is this NLLU data set. Um, and this was created by Piero, uh, who's the founder of Libre Translate. And essentially what he did here was he sa uh, sampled 15 million English sentences from Paracrawl and then translated them to Italian and I think soon more languages 
using NLLB, which is a translation model that was trained by Facebook and released open source. And then it looks like he also does some filtering on the data, which you can see here. Um, so I've already downloaded this um, from this link here, which is this zip archive here, and I've extracted it here. Um, as you can see, this is a very similar format to the Argos data format. So you have the source file, the target file, and a license. So what I'm going to do is modify this um, this package that I downloaded to be my custom one, and then rezip it, and then upload it to the data index. So I'm going to rename this data on it um, NLU NLU and I'm going to replace the license so now this is the NLU license and I'm going to copy these over delete the old data and create a new readme um, and then edit this metadata file. So NLLU, type is data, English to Italian. And then this size is the number of lines. So do word count lines, source target. So it looks like 14 million, which I think is what he said, or 15 million. Um, and then um, copy this reference in Okay, and so now I've updated this file, this file, this file, and this is the new data. So this this Argos data is just a zip file, so I'm going to compress this to a zip file. Okay, so this is finished compressing, and the only thing I need to do to make this a valid Argos data package is to just change the extension name. So I have this here. And now what I want to do is have this package available from the data index like I do here uh, with these other ones. Um, so I'm just going to copy this package to this data.argosopentech.com server, um, which is my public data server. If you want to use custom data and keep it private, then you can put your data on a local server or connect to a remote server with SSH port forwarding or something and then use a firewall to keep your data private. But you do need a web server of some sort to load the data into Argos train. Um, this data.argosopentech.com is just a Engine, Nginx server that I run. So I'm going to do scopy my Argos data package to data.argosopentech.com and, 
and then wait for this to transfer. Once your data package is built, you need to rent a server from vast.ai to actually train your model on. So I'm going to rent this server here, click rent, and I want to use the Argos train Docker image. So Argos open tech slash Argos train. Okay, and okay, so my server has finished initializing, so I'm going to connect with SSH, and now I'm in my server. So I'm going to follow the instructions in the Argos train repo. So become the Argos Open Tech user and then run the init script. And so this will take a while. Um, if we look at what this is doing, this is going to install a bunch of Debian packages, the Python, and then um, install OpenNMT, and then it's going to have to build this, so it is going to take a while. Um, I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so Argos train init has finished, as you can see here, and I've also successfully updated my new data package to my data server. And so I'm just going to edit this um, data index.json file locally, and so that my new data will be available uh, for my training run. So if we go here, the data index.json is essentially the same as the metadata that's in the package itself. So I'm going to do vim data index.json and then I'll put it at the top here. Um, and then I'll format this. Okay, and so the big difference between the metadata in the package and on the data index is this links field. So I'm going to add that. And my package is called nllu unit.argosdata. Okay. So now Argos Data knows about my custom data package. So I'm going to continue running the directions on the readme. So I've already run source Argos train init, and now I can run the script to actually train the model. So I'm going to do Argos train. So from, I'm going to do from English to Italian and do version 1.8. Um, so that's a bad start. Okay, so I had a typo in the data index. So this N should have been a T. So I'm going to fix that and then remove the broken data and then try again. So 
So as you can see now, it's downloading my new data. It'll download all of the other existing Italian data, and then it will run sentence piece, open an MT, and the packaging. Um, and so this will take about 12 hours, uh, depending on how fast your GPU is. Um, and most of that, I would say like an hour or so, is downloading the data and running sentence piece. But the majority of the time is just the training of the neural network in OpenNMT. So I'll let this run and then come back when it's finished. OK. Um, so the model has finished training overnight. And you can see this line here. It says package saved to home Argos Open Tech, Argos Train, run. And then we have our package.argos model. Um, so I'll first just scroll up here so that you can see what this looks like. So this is the actual training. So um, I did 50,000 steps. Um, this is the OpenNMT model training. Um, so this is the part that takes the longest. This step takes probably 10 or 12 hours. And above this, we have Um, this is the OpenNMT, um, this is like the data processing that OpenNMT does after all of the Argos train uh, preparation. And then this is a PyTorch output, I think, showing the uh, model structure. Um, this is the sentence piece model training here. And then this is all of the data being downloaded and unzipped. And then here was the command to actually uh, train the model. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this from my vast.ai server to my um, local computer so that I can test it. So this was my SSH command to log into the server. So I'm just going to modify this to um, to an SCP command to um, copy it to my local computer. So SCP, and then you need to capitalize this P. Okay, so now this is being copied over. So now I'm going to um, install Argos Translate with the GUI so that I can um, test this. So I'm installing Argos Translate GUI. Um, this will install the base Argos Translate package as a dependency. OK, so Argos Translate has finished installing. Um, so I'm going to run the user interface. OK, so here we go. Uh, so I'm going to do manage packages and then install package file. And this is our newly trained model. So I'm going to open that up. And then you can see it here, English to Italian. Um, so now what I'm going to do is take this sample text and translate it to Italian. Um, so I do not read Italian, but this seems reasonable. The Hubble Space Telescope is a space telescope. Il Telescopio Spazial Hubble. A un telescopio spazial. It seems reasonable. Um, so I'm going to copy this to sample Italian 423093. 
Um, and then what I also want to do is compare this translation to the current Italian model. So I'm going to do download packages and then find English to Italian. Download that. Okay. And so now you can see we have version 1.0. Okay, so now I have the current production model and then I'm also going to test it. Um, and the translation also seems reasonable and I can't really tell which one is better but I'll save this here okay and there you have it so to recap what I did in this video was I followed the instructions in the Argos train readme and I packaged a um, this NLLU data set for Argos train and then I used this new data and all of the existing Italian data to train a custom Italian model um, and then I copied the model to my local machine and ran it locally here um, and then just saved some testing data to evaluate it. Um, one other thing to know if you're training a model is you don't have to use this data index.json if you don't want to. Um, this helps automate downloading all of the existing data, but if you're doing something very custom, you may want to do a more manual approach. So you can follow this instruction here, where you put your parallel data directly into run slash source and run slash target, and then you set this data exists equals true variable in bin slash argos train. Um, so that's just right here. Um, so if this is true, then it won't download data from data index.json. It'll just use the data you already have um, at run slash source and target. Um, so if you want to download data directly from Opus, um, what you can do is For example, we do uh, Greek to English. What you want is the Moses data. This is the format I was describing earlier, where it's essentially two files, and each line in the file is a parallel sentence with the line in the corresponding file. So you can just um, download th this data directly, and then you can concatenate the files together to make a big data file, and then put it directly here. All right, thanks for watching.